What's going on guys? J Rod the Collector here. We're back at it again this week with another video. I hope you're all having a fantastic, fantastic week. And we got a very different and special video today. We are boots on the ground, in person, on the scene, checking out a collection today in person, seeing if it's worth it. We're gonna hopefully show some footage and then if we do end up purchasing it, we're going to be taking it back to the studio and checking it out together. But thanks so much. If you do enjoy videos like this, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Let's get to 50 likes on this video if we can and hit the bell as well so you never miss another video. Thanks so much for tuning in and let's go, baby. Let's check out this collection. Let's go. What's going on, guys? We made it back to the studio. And if you're wondering, we did buy that collection. So if you like videos like this where I potentially lose quite a bit of money, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you never miss another one of these when I go out and buy a crazy collection. This collection was $3,550 Canadian and $2,650 US. So I wasn't able to get any footage, unfortunately, in person because the deal, it took actually a couple hours. There's a lot of stuff to go through and we were going back and forth on price. He wanted 5,000 Canadian and I was firm and said, you know, it's, I don't think we'd be quite, I'd be quite there even 4,000. So we met at 3550. Please let me know in the comments below what you think. And let's quickly pan to the video. We actually did the deal. Um, we put all the cards in my trunk kind of a, as a place to look at them. So um, I'm going to quickly pan to all the cards laid out so you can see them. But I'm also going to show you here in the studio. So take a look, enjoy, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Kind of crazy seeing it all laid out, but this collection had quite a bit from all different eras. Charizards, Evolutions, Rainbows, Full Art Trainers, Watsy, EX era, like every single era. So we're gonna get down to business and go through it. I also wanna quickly pan to it in the studio. I'm gonna lay it out on the ground. And I just wanna quickly show you guys what it looks like kind of on the floor and all spread out. So let's get to that. And then we're gonna obviously bring the card cam out and we're gonna take a look at everything. You know, I'm gonna go through them, check out the conditions and the usual stuff. So appreciate you tuning in and let's get to it, baby. All right, guys, I hope you can hear me. I'm a little bit far from the mic, but I'm not too bad. So we never shot a video like this before. Off the cuff, and as you can see, this is the entire collection, guys. There's piles here, you can't see it all. I didn't want to lay it all out, but it came mostly in these ETVs. And this is the Charizard section. Can't wait to get into that. And then we have this binder as well, which we're going to get into. But I just wanted to show you a quick pan of everything together. And let's go, baby. This is crazy. All right, guys, let's check it out. Let's see what 3550 Canadian or 2650 US got us. Let's see if it was worth it. Let me know below what you think or your favorite cards. Let me know everything down below. But let's get into it, baby. Let's go. All right, guys, we're going to start off with the gold cards, the cooler kind of energies. And let's begin, guys. So we got the gold fire energy, the water gold energy. Uh, what is that? Crimson invasion? I believe so. This is going to be a bit of a longer video to go through everything. As you saw, there's a lot of cards. You saw it all in the car. You saw it on the ground. Um, so we're going to go through it together, but it could be a bit longer. So sit back, relax, and enjoy as we go through these. Let's go, baby. We got the Ultra Ball. We got the Mewtwo V-Star, a little off-center. And you'll see most of the cards are in decent condition. Uh, the condition kind of varies, but uh, we'll keep going. We got the Zacian V, the promo. Pikachu and Zekrom promo. Skate broke gold. And boom, we got the Fire Energy from Call of Legends, baby. It's not a secret rare, but it's 89 out of 95 in the set. But it does feature the ho -Oh and the legendary tower, the burning tower, that's what it's called. Really cool to add this to the collection. Let's see what else we got, baby, let's go. All right, guys, next we have the trainer cards, the full arts. I believe there may be a couple rainbows as well, so let's get right into it. We got the Aroma Lady, the Volo from Crown Zenith, actually, some newer hits too. We got the Fossil Researcher. I don't think I've seen this in person before, really cool, from Furious Fist. 
We have the Pokemon Fan Club. This is from uh, Flashfire. We got Brock's Brit Classic, obviously from Evolutions. We got the Zerosic, I guess, from, I don't know what that's from. Uh, recent set, 2014. Okay, not too recent, I'm not sure. We got the Kabu, Kabu, Leon from uh, Vivid Voltage, Schoolboy, Shauna, Melanie from Chilling Rain. We got the Marnie Prono, Prono, <laughs> Promo, hello. Blackstar promo, so it's a nice one. Acerola, I think it gets a little bit spicier here. From uh, Burning Shadows, very nice card. We got the Lily, which is, I think, the best hit. The, one of the best hits in uh, Sun and Moon. And then we have a couple rainbows. We got the Aroma Lady, Peonia from Chilling Rain. We got the Copycat, the Caitlyn, and the Chili, Cillin, and Crest. Let's go. So that was the that was the full art trainer. So not a bad kind of selection there. Next up, we got a few level X's. Unfortunately, a lot of these are not in the greatest condition, but we will show them anyways. We got the Dialga G level X, not the best. Will we take it? Electivire level X, Infernape, Flygon, Azelf, Cresselia, and Garchomp, baby. A little beat up, but level X is nonetheless. We take nonetheless, nonetheless, we take those, baby. We take those. All right, guys, we have the rainbow cards. So outside of the trainers, there's a whole bunch of rainbows, baby. Let's get into them. Some older ones, some newer ones. Let's go. We got the Tapu Fini GX. We got the Shaman V Star, Solgaleo GX. Tapu Lele GX, Cleaver V-Star, Sandaconda, Scorch, Decidueye GX, which is an older one. Boom! One of my favorite rainbows, guys. I'm so happy to add this to the, to the, to the collection. It's from the Sun and Moon base set. We got the Espeon and the Sylveon, baby. Not from the same set, but a beautiful card. We have the Gyarados 2. The rainbow from Crimson Invasion? All right. Boom! We got the Slowpoke and Psyduck, baby. One of my favorites from Unified Minds. We got the Gardevoir and Sylveon from Unbroken Bond, baby. It keeps getting spicy. And boom, we got the Metagross EX. Not EX, GX. From whatever set that is, 2017, baby. Some cool kind of selection of rainbows. Let's go on to the next one. All right, guys, it is Evolution time, baby. Let's go! Huge, huge pulls from the Evolutions. Let's go. Vaporeon GX from all different eras. A few Vaporeon GXs. That's not a, a Evolution. We got the Glaceon, the Cracked Ice, Vaporeon. We got the Umbreon from Neo Discovery. This is a normal one, the non hollow. We have a few first edition Eevees from Rocket set. Uh, Team Rocket, obviously. Boom! <laughs> we have a couple alt arts, baby. Let's go! gonna move those we have the sylveon altite i've never had this never pulled it it could be a candidate for grading it is very nice good condition take those we got the vaporeon v max promo from the from that collection box we got the vaporeon v as well the flareon v max flareon v jolteon v max all these promos from uh from those collections those are the alt arts Obviously, they were in EV Heroes, but they were not in Evolving Skies. You can only get them in those boxes. A couple more GXs. Leafeon GX, Espeon, another Espeon, Umbreon GX, another Umbreon, Glaceon GX, and then a Sylveon GX, baby. All right, baby, next stack of Evolutions. Let's go. We got the Espeon EX from 2016. We got the Flareon EX from Generations. Beautiful, beautiful card. We got the Sylveon EX2 from Generations. And boom, we got the Espeon Hollow from Call of Legends. The Cracked Ice. And then we have the Umbreon from Call of Legends as well. The Hollow. Let's go. Gorgeous Hollow pattern. We got a couple modern promos. And then an Umbreon V, which I've never owned. Really nice card. Jolteon EX from Generations. I believe this was in a collection or a tin. I believe it's a promo. Doesn't really tell you. Uh, boom! I've always wanted this card. 
Flareon EX from Generations, baby. Let's go. Obviously featuring the OG, OG Evolutions, Vaporeon and Jolteon. I wish there was a way they could have put Eevee in this card as well, just to feature them all. Boom, we got a Glaceon from, what is that? Mysterious Treasures or Majestic Dawn or something. And it's a bit beat up, but very cool. And then we have, oh my God, I'll show that in a second. <laughs> Uh, Pop Series 3, Evolutions, Flareon, Jolteon, and Vaporeon, the Hollows. They're all decent. I'd say LP or so, maybe near mint, some of them. And then you saw the Shining Jirachi. I don't know how this got in there. He kind of snuck in there. He flew on in. Obviously not an Evolution, but really nice card nonetheless. So let's get on to the next pile, baby. Let's go. All right, guys. So we're on to the Japanese cards now. There's quite a stack. I've split it in half. It's just <clears throat> too big for me to carry. You know what I mean? Um, we have the Typhlosion. This is from the Neo Premium file, I believe. So in, in Japanese, this didn't actually come um, in the set, in the Neo Genesis set. It came in like this promo binder. This one did come in the set. So that's our T17. Not as uh, sought after in Japanese for some reason. I think it's because in every pack, I believe you got a, a hit. So a hollow in every single Neo Genesis pack. Tough guy to grade in English, very low pop. Ooh, we got the Shining Mew, baby, from the Japanese Shining Legends set, which is not called that. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's a banger in Japanese, a bit more sought after, just because those kind of Japanese sets um, kind of has gone up in value quite a bit compared to Shining Legends, even though that's expensive too. But what do we got next? Shining Arceus from Shining Legends 2. Let's go, baby. Woo! Forgot this one in the Rainbow Trainers, but because it was Japanese, I wanted to include it in this pile. We got the Rainbow Serena from Incandescent Arcana. And once again, as you guys know, as we all know now, these trainers, the waifus, as they call them, command quite a bit of value. So that's a nice card to have in the collection. Boom, we got the Tag Team Piplup and Blastoise, and then the Japanese Dragonite promo as well. Let's get into the other stack. All right, we got a few loose cards. This is from the premium file as well. Just some more of the common hits. Crocona, Totodile, Bayleaf, Chikorita, Bayleaf, Chikorita, <laughs> Kulava, Cyndaquil, Totodile, and Crocona. Then we have this hit, hit pack here. We got the Steelix from Neo Genesis, which is actually from the set. We got the Japanese Hollow Haunter from the Fossil set. The the um the Fossil set actually had a hit in every single pack in Japan, and the the logo looks a little bit different. Then we got the Feraligatr, which comes in the premium file as well. Meganium, Meganium, another Typhlosion, and another Typhlosion, baby. All right, guys, let's get into the Watsi Hollows from the first few sets, if I'm correct. I didn't memorize the entire collection, so we're gonna see some surprises. Here we go, we got a here, here, here we go, Team Rocket. <laughs> Rocket Sneak Attack. And these are all in pretty nice shape, guys. We're talking, some of them are near mint condition. Not that one. Not this one either, but some of them are. And here we go, we got the Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan, Hitmochan, Base Set Hollow, baby. Dark Gyarados from Team Rocket. I think there's a few base set Gyaradoses here, baby. Let's go. These are minty, minty, minty. Another one. That's four of them. The Vaporeon from Jungle. Crobat from Neo Revelation. We got the Kabutops. Really classic and nostalgic from Fossil. See that? It's a little bit different from the Japanese one. There's no kind of border to it. Dark Arbok from Team Rocket, baby, the hollow. And it does have the 23,000 error, if you can see that, so that's interesting. Another one, and then we got a W stamp, that's the Watsi stamp, Wizards of the Coast, sorry. Um, and then we got an Articuno from the Legendary Collection in hollow, Aerodactyl Fossil, Nidoking, I know this one was clean. We got the Zapdos from Fossil, from Fossil and from base set baby and i know this one was clean i remember i may have to get some of these graded like holy these are awesome all right it is a thick 
thick stack. And I believe some of these, okay. This Machamp, I don't know if you can see it, but it's crimped, baby. Let's go. That is crazy to see. When obviously these came in the, what is it? The two player starter set. When they sealed that kind of plastic packaging, sometime they got the card a little bit and it's a crimp. You don't see, I don't think you see this too often in the Machamp, so let's go. This one is also very clean, whoopsie. This one is also very clean, so let's go. We got a couple Clefairies here, base set two, base set, LT Surges, LT, Lieutenant Surges Magneton, Dark Hypno, Magneton base set two, Nido King. These are clean, baby, clean. Raichu base set two, very clean. Nine Tails base set two, I remember, very clean as well. Nine Tails base set. We got a few Wiggly Tufts here from base set two. Polyrath, Wrath base set two as well. A couple of them, a base set. Dark Golbat Team Rocket, baby. Blossom Neo Genesis. Dark Vile Plume, clean, clean. Another one, clean. And then here comes Team Rocket, baby. Let's go. You couldn't already tell, I'm a little bit fired up from this collection. Oh man, this is like a hit of nostalgia. We got a bunch of sealed promos here. And let's go. We have a massive stack of reverse foils, hollows, stamp cards from the EX era. Let's go through this, baby. We got the Windstorm. We got the Corsola. Boom! This is a big hit. We got the Deoxys EX Emerald. That's a juicer. And it's it's in good condition. That's on the top loader, everybody. Not on the card. Juicy. We got the Glacius Stadium. Hello. The Leap. Natu from Dragon Frontiers. Snow Runt. Strange Cave. Feraligator. Delta Species Hollow, baby. Boom, I guess they're not all reverses, but this Raichu definitely is a reverse. Lilip, Nine Tails Hollow. I love this card, it's gorgeous. Good condition. Ampharos, Typhlosion, Typhlosion Reverse. Boom, not in the best condition, but that's okay. Crobat, Sceptile EX, yeah, Skeptile, Sceptile. This guy is in pretty nice shape, I'd say LP or so. We take those. We got the Nido King uh, Delta Species Hollow. I think this was in good shape. Uh, not too shabby. And then we have the Rayquaza from EX Emerald. I think this was a promo, even though there's no, it's not like a Black Star promo, but I don't think it was in the main set. So that's an interesting one. Let's go. Here's the other stack of reverse hollows and stamp cards. I'll show the other stack in a little bit in one second. Medicham. Ladian from Dragon Frontiers. Bennett from Power Keepers. Tauros, regular hollow. <laughs> Not reverse. Unseen Forces Octillery. These are clean, baby. A lot of them are clean. Energy, psychic energy from Holland Phantoms. Hey, we got the hollow Lugia from the Pop Series 5. If you're not familiar with this set, it has the Gold Star Umbreon and Espeon in there. And those are non hollows, but they're extremely sought after and expensive. So let's go. We got the whole good condition. Boom, one of my favorite sets of all time. Expedition base set, the E Reader E Series era. Alakazam Reverse Hollow. Not in the best shape, but that's okay. We got the Golem from Legend Maker in very nice shape. And then we have the Armaldo Power Keepers. Next stack here, baby. We got the Marsh Tomp from Crystal Guardians. Boom, this is a banger from. Delta Species, right? Yep. Dragonair, that's a gorgeous card. Pupitar, Bulbasaur from Crystal Guardians, Anorith, Duskull from EX Deoxys. These are pretty sought after. Puchienna from Deoxys as well. Boom, people love this one. He got the Electricity, Electric Lightning Totodile from Dragon Frontiers. We got the Crystal Guardians Electric and the Crystal Guardians very beat up double rainbow energy baby let's keep going okay guys it continues we got a, a little sneak peek there we got a stack of i don't even know what the stack is but let's go through it we got some hits baby you can't tell it is a juicy stack gengar and mimikyu from team up that's a huge card we got a couple full arts 
Regigigius, Zekrom, Latias, Black Kiram, Palkia, M. Lucario EX, baby. I, I'm losing my breath. M. Amphros, Mega Amphros, Mew V, Emolga EX, M. Gardevoir EX, Shaman EX. This is from 2012, baby. And these are in decent shape, too. Reshiram EX from Next Destinies, I believe. Zekrom EX, you never see these. I, I don't think I've seen these in person or hardly ever. And that one's beat up. Mew EX, Jirachi EX. Boom! <laughs> we got the Pikachu EX, baby! From the collection. You can only get this in a box, it is a promo. In Japanese, it's in the Japanese version of Evolutions. We got the Venusaur EX, the promo. Entei V, and then the Alt Art Muck and Alolan Muck, baby. Let's go. Another stack that's just a stack that hasn't been kind of categorized. Look at V-Star. Boom! We got the Alakazam EX. I categorize this as an altar. I don't care what anyone says. This is a beautiful card. Underrated, it has the Umbreon, the Lugia, and the Alakazam. I think it's a super underrated card. Moltres, the three birds. MU2 EX, Mega Heracross. Ashes Greninja, Chandelier EX. Boom! This is a big hit, baby. Emery Quaza EX from, what is that? Roaring Skies, I believe. Mega DNC, Mega Rayquaza EX, the Celebrations uh, reprint from Roaring Skies. Boom, we got a Lukia, baby. Pretty nice from uh, the black, it's a black and white, 2013. And then the Three Birds, baby, by Mitsu Hero Arita, my boy. All right, another stack. These are old, and I'm realizing that we most likely won't be able to get through everything as we're coming up on 27 minutes. Obviously, after editing and stuff, it's going to be a bit shorter, but still, this is a long video. Thank you. If you made it this far, you're the greatest, baby. You're the GOAT. Let's go. Terrakion, I think. Emolga EX. Is it an EX? No. So it's just a full art. Dragonite EX. Dragonite EX. Dragonite EX. Shaman Hollow. Nitto King Hollow. Arcanine Hollow from Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I love this card. Soul Silver. I can't talk. Hitmon Lee, Crack Dice, baby. Crack Dice, Pachirisu Hollow from Call of Legends. We got a Rapidash, gorgeous card. Smeargle, Nine Tails Reverse from Call of Legends. Yes, sir. Ditto King Reverse, a bunch of reverses here. And a couple McDonald's promos from 2011. Damn, that's crazy. We got a Blitzel and a Drill Bird, baby. We got the McDonald's stamp. Let's go, baby. We have the Cracked Ice Typhlosion, Cracked Ice Meganium, Cracked Ice Meganium, Typhlosion Reverse from Call of Legends, Meganium, a Celebi Prime, Tyranitar, a Lugia Hollow from Call of Legends, let's go! Uh, a little bit beat up, that's okay. This is a gorgeous card, the Cracked Ice Go Heart Gold and Soul Silver, Mitsuhira Arita, Gyarados, baby, let's go. Dialga Hollow from Call of Legends, Raichu from Heart Gold Soul Servo. Silver. <laughs> Heart Gold Soul Servo. Silver. Oh my god. We got the Manaphy, the Houndoom. Giratina from Platinum, I believe. Magnezone from Storm from Baby. I'm trying to memorize all these sets. Legends Awaken. Frostlass. Politoed. Legends Awaken. Rising Rivals. Bastiodon. Empoleon. Is that Diamond and Pearl base set, I believe? And then we got the Diamond and Pearl Magnezone, baby. Guys, it just, it does not stop. This is another pile. It does not stop. We keep going. We have, we have a random package here. Let's go through it together. And if I remember correctly, these are pretty clean. Not, I thought that was cleaner. So we have the Pikachu, the Pikachu, the Pikachu, the Pikachu. Okay, this, I guess this was the Pikachu pile. Uh, a lot of these are pretty clean. Pichu, Pikachu, Pikachu, Pikachu. A bunch, oh, these are nice from Shining Legends. Oh, baby, yes. Oh, from Evolutions. Oh my God, from Furious Fists. That's the Pikachu pile, baby, let's go. If you've waited this long, if you've been here watching, watching me scream and throw stuff all over the place. You're in fear. You're in fear. It's treat, baby. We have the Charizard pile, and let's go. We got the Charizard from Secret Wonders. 
pretty clean that may have to be graded. We got the Charizard VMAX Shiny from Shining Fates. We got the Reshiram and Charizard Rainbow, baby. Let's go from Unbroken Bonds. These are all pretty good condition. Power Keepers Charizard Hollow. This one I remember is a little bit beat up. Charizard Level X, a little bit beat up, but very nice. Dark Charizard, decent condition for a card from over 20 years ago. Charizard V from Brilliant Stars. M Charizard EX from Evolutions. And another one, the full art. Another M Charizard EX from Flashfire, baby. The V Star Charizard. The V Max from the UPC. And a few promos from the Champions Path ETB. Flashfire, Charizard EX, Charizard EX, Flashfire. That's a promo, actually. And then we got one from Evolutions. And then another V from Brilliant Stars, baby. Let's go. Woo! Oh my goodness. If you made it this far, you're an absolute legend. You're one of the OGs. We're 30 plus minutes in. Let's see what happens when we cut it up. But thank you so much for watching. My absolute favorite pickup of the year for sure. My biggest collection pickup. The most expensive collection pickup. It was a little bit scary, but let me know down below, guys, what you think of the collection pickup. Do we do well? Do we get wrecked? Do we just do okay? $35.50 Canadian, $26.50 USD. Let's go, baby. Let me know down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Much love. And as always, and as always, as always, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and good night. And we see you guys in the next one, baby. Let's go. I hope you enjoyed that. Have a fantastic week. I'm going to go take a shower and take a nap. Let's go, baby. Good night. <laughs> take care. We'll see you next time. Peace out. Peace.